In this video, I'm going to talk about five mistakes to avoid while unlocking the bootloader. And the reason why you should watch this video is because today or tomorrow you are going to unlock your phone's bootloader or probably you already tried it but failed. If you watch this video right now, you will know what are the mistakes that can prevent your phone from getting unlocked or that can get your device banned while trying to unlock your bootloader. Without wasting any time, let's start the video. The most common mistake that we often do is not wait. While applying for a bootloader for Redmi, Xiaomi or Poco devices, you have to wait for 168 hours before attempting to unlock the bootloader and after that, surely your device gets unlocked. But while we don't really have patience in us, we look for these modded tools that promise us, false promises actually, to unlock a bootloader without any waiting time. At times it might work for some devices but there is no guarantee to it. And even doing so, you are risking your device from getting permanently banned because if Xiaomi detects it that you are using some unethical way to unlock your bootloader, you might get banned for a lifetime and that device will never be able to unlock. Now for the next thing, it has been started to happen recently that a lot of people are now commenting on my videos that they want to unlock their bootloader without SIM card. And the reason why that is happening is because these people are buying the phones of Redmi, Xiaomi or Poco from non-trusted websites and when they do get that phone, there is no IMEI into it. And there might be a lot of reasons behind that, which I, if you want to know, let me know in the comment section below. But since there is no IMEI number, you can insert a SIM card, but it's not going to be read. And that is the reason why the phone's bootloader can never be unlocked. And without unlocking the bootloader, you probably cannot even flash something that can restore the IMEI number. So it's like a loop. And if you take that device to official service center, they probably would also deny servicing it. So if you are into that, forget it, you cannot unlock the bootloader without a SIM card. And also even if you have a SIM card, you need an active internet connection into that to be able to unlock the bootloader. Next one is a really good example about we humans that we often like it really much to point our mistakes into others and then feel satisfied about it. Reason I'm saying it is because there is a myth which says that your phone's bootloader can only be unlocked onto a PC when you connect it to a port that is USB 2.0. 3.0 and above, your phone's not gonna be detected in your PC. Well, guess what? This is really false news because I've been using this 3.0 and actually 3.1 now to unlock my phone's bootloader for the past one and a half years and I never faced an issue. The issue that you guys have why your phone's not getting detected on your PC has nothing to do with port but with the drivers that you don't have installed. Mostly with Windows 10, some of the drivers don't really get installed because they don't have a trusted source and that's why you have to enable test mode on Windows 10 to be able to install those drivers for it to detect your phone. So USB 3.0 has no issues, 3.1 is even supported. Don't believe into that and if someone is saying that, make sure you tell them that it's not the port itself but the drivers that's not letting the phone detect it in the PC. Now for the next one, as easy as it will sound, this is the reason why you have to wait multiple times 168 hours. So it looks like people really change their Mi account while in the process of unlocking the bootloader. Remember, you should have only one Mi account in your device signed in. That Mi account should also be registered to your phone under developer's option and that that specific Mi account should be also logged into the tool of Mi Unlock while applying for the permission of unlocking the bootloader and in that waiting period time of seven days remember to not log out from that me account and that after seven days log in with that very same me account into the me unlock tool and then apply for that unlocking and then within seven days after seven days you will get your phone's bootloader unlocked if in this entire process at any time you change the me account or you log out and log in again the timer of 168 hours will reset and that's the reason why multiple times you will be having to wait. Now the next one is also the reason why you may face multiple wait times and in fact this can be the reason why you always keep getting 7 days of waiting time without unlocking the phone's bootloader. Because the tool that you're using right now is officially not there from the official website and you might have gotten it from any telegram group, third party websites or google drive link or the tool might already be obsolete and so old that Xiaomi servers are not recognizing it anymore. The best way to do it all in one go is to download the tool from the official Mi's website, link to which I leave in the description section below. 
So make sure that the tool is authentic and latest. That's the best way actually to do it. And if any of these cases are not met, there's a big chance that you will continuously keep getting 168 hours of waiting time. And believe me, that has nothing to do with your device, but has something to do with the tool that you're gonna use. Here's a bonus tip for you all. A lot of people actually have this doubt that after you apply for the bootloader and you're waiting for that 168 hours to pass, should you use your device or should you just turn off your phone or maybe your phone should always be in that fast boot mode? Well, thing is, in that seven day period, you are obligated to use your phone as much as you can or like just normally use it by turning it on and that after seven days, turn it off again into the fast boot and then apply to get that bootloader unlocked. Because if you are not using the phone, there's a big chance again that you might get 168 hours of wait time because your phone should not be kept idle in those seven days, that is for sure. And with that, if you enjoyed watching this video or you found this video helpful, make sure you click that like button. And if you're not following me on my social media handles, links are in the description section below. If you're new to this channel, click on subscribe to get a lot of interesting content in the future. And I'll be catching you guys soon in next video. Until then, take care.